To get started hacking Minecraft on the Raspberry Pi, the first thing you're going to need to do is to make sure that you have the latest software downloaded and installed on your Raspberry Pi SD card. The best way to do this is to head to raspberrypi.org slash downloads and just make sure you've grabbed the latest version and set it up on your SD card. The reason being is because Minecraft Pi is installed by default on the most latest image. So if you click on menu and then games, you'll see Minecraft Pi is listed. And it's just like the Minecraft Pocket Edition. You can start a game in the same way you would do with that, clicking on start game, and then you can create a new world. Once your new world has been generated, you can start moving around. And just like Minecraft, the controls are very similar. If you move your mouse, you can look around yourself. And then on the keyboard, if you use W, A, S, and D, um, those keys will help you move around. So W forward, S is backwards, A is left, and D is right. And so just like Minecraft, you can wander around and all the worlds are slightly different when you build new ones. You can also fly in Minecraft by double tapping on the keyboard. Um, and then if you want to float back down, you double tap again and you'll drop. If you press E on the keyboard, your inventory will come up. And like Pocket Edition, you have access to all the blocks already. Um, and then you can point where you want to drop a block and press the right mouse click button and you'll be able to drop a block. And you can start building all the structures that you want to, like a house out of pink wool, just like I'm doing here. But you know what? Building them myself is time consuming, it's slow and it's a bit boring when actually I can program something to appear in Minecraft using the Minecraft Pi edition. So let's start doing that. To be able to release your mouse from Minecraft, if you press tab on the keyboard, it will release it. And then what you can start doing is moving the window, the Minecraft window, out of the way. You can resize it, make it slightly bigger as well. But you're going to need some space, some screen space to be able to write your code. So if you click on Menu, Programming, and then Python 3, the software that we're going to use to be able to program and hack Minecraft will open. Um, and this is the shell window, the interpreter. We're not going to use this to actually write our code into. So what we need to do is click on File, and then New File, in order to open a text editor window in which we can store all of our code and refer back to at a later point. It's good practice to save that file straight away. So if you click on File and then Save As, and then give your file a name. So I'm going to call mine Getting Started. And the file extension for a Python file is .py, which you can type in here, or you can just press Enter and it'll automatically add it. Like all Python programs, the first thing we need to do is import the Minecraft library, the Minecraft API that we need to use to be able to hack Minecraft. So we're going to start with from mcpi.minecraft, import Minecraft. And you'll notice there's a capital M for Minecraft uh, at the end of that line. It's very important in Python that capitalization is correct. It's very picky about things like this. Next, I'm going to create a variable called MC. Um, so I've typed MC equals and then Minecraft.create open close brackets. And this line will connect our Python program to the Minecraft Pi edition. And now I need to write a line of code that actually does something. And so the kind of hello world program of Minecraft Pi is to post something to the chat window. So I'm going to start by typing mc.post to chat. And notice the T in two and the C in chat are capitalized. And then open bracket and open quotation mark. Then you can write your message. So I'm going to write hello viewers of Geek Girl Diaries. I'm going to close my quotation mark and then close my bracket. Once complete, the next thing I need to do is save this file. So I could click on File and Save As, or I could press Ctrl and S on the keyboard. Once I've saved my file, I need to run it. So to run a file in Python 3, if you click on Run and then Run Module, again, I could just press F5 on my keyboard. And you'll see that the Python 3 will start running the program. And in my Minecraft window, my message has appeared on the chat. So hello, viewers of Geek Girl Diaries. This is the first step in getting started with Minecraft Pi hacking. And I only used three lines of code. For more videos about what else you can do with Minecraft Pi, stay tuned and follow this particular playlist.